Hello, and welcome back to Roslyn. If you're watching on YouTube, I believe this will be episode 15. Thanks for joining me live on Twitch, if you're here. Um, I wanted to start uh, with, by taking a look here at Eureka Slopes. Now that I've got it fully detailed out, I spent some time on my stream, just kind of hanging out, doing detailing. I did a lot of this offline as well. But the objective here, just to try to fill this space in with detail that makes it feel um, unique and sort of full, instead of just having the big lumpy bumpy gaps in between these streets, um, filling all that in with a mix of like a couple of different trees. So you can see I'm using the California palms, the coconut trees and that third palm tree from the content creator packs, the live oaks, some chestnuts, um, and but also like some vanilla assets such as uh, these big frond plants here, some of the vanilla palm trees, using that to create some sandiness where I can. Um, having some areas that would still be mowed grass potentially, you know, I'm not sure about this right here. That's maybe an area that could use a little bit of wildness to it, but basically trying to give everybody their lot here and then creating a lot of wild space in between that. And I think I love the views from here. Um, go up in the tree here. You can see the windmills, and I believe that's that statue of industry all the way over there, the guy with the hammer. So much of Roslyn is laid out underneath you. Water Tower Park there. So eventually, this whole interchange up here is going to have to change, right? Um, and at some point, I'm going to want to fill out this mining area over here. Uh, I want to save that for when I've got really high industrial demand, though. Um, and I'm also going to try to save this space over here, potentially, for another residential neighborhood that could have easy access to jobs at the mine. And who knows, you know, there's room for residential expansion over there as well. It'll have to be very particular, I think, sort of like Eureka Slopes is here. Um, but, you know, I think with the right level of patience, uh, a neighborhood that feels like this is possible. Um, and so part of what I did here was adding trees to lots as well. And I've also done that in a lot of old Roslyn to really help flesh out these neighborhoods because next to Eureka Slopes they just looked uh, sort of tired and basic and barren almost so in almost every lot I've tried to add at least one tree in addition to any trees that come with the um, residential development there um, and added in a lot of like the content creator trees to help add flavor as well also renamed a few things so this was upper and lower Roslyn before now I'm calling it the daughters and the grandchildren because sort of have this theme of um, feminine names Annabelle, Bonnabelle, uh, Clementine, Dolores, Edith, Felicity those are all the ones that are sort of uh, west of Factory Street here oh I'm sorry, somebody's ringing my doorbell. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Um, just a delivery. Um, so, where was I? Okay, yes, yeah, so I renamed these two neighborhoods, the daughters and the grandchildren. So this is really sort of old Roslyn here. Uh, Brown Street, factory, the yards, all of that. Um, and I wanted names better than Upper and Lower Roslyn because this is all going to be Roslyn, and this is itself going to kind of become an upper Roslyn eventually in and of itself. So for old Roslyn, I really wanted um, the flavor and like the fact that these streets with women's names 
feminine names, old school names, are going to extend all the way, uh, hopefully. Eventually we'll see. There'll be some interesting breaks, like with the farm here, because this eventually will all be urbanized, so maybe some of this will turn into greenhouses or something. We'll see. Um, and that's actually... So I'm, I'm, I'm of a couple of minds. There's a couple of things I really want to do. The first thing is that we did unlock a major milestone at the start of the Eureka Slopes episode. Um, and there's a lot to do with this. Um, sorry, that's not it. That's the next one. We unlock this one. Um, so it comes with a leisure specialization, which I really like. Um, high density, you can see in the taxes there, there's a new zoning for high density as well as office space right there. Uh, those are big because now we can start to actually flesh out a proper um, vertical downtown uh, in, in select spots. Um, toll booths, those are nice. I don't know, they're, they're fine. Um, I like putting them in. I already got the achievement, so whatever. It's kind of fun. Um, and then some really cool metro platforms, and that's really what I want to kind of... I want episode 15 to be, is I want to figure out what kind of train. Um, personally, I am a huge fan of the elevated metro station. And I've been eyeing some spots for one right down here, uh, right by downtown. Question is, is the city really big enough to justify a train right now? I've been trying to save this space for it. And the more I build, the more I'm going to have to unbuild eventually to create the path for it. Like right now on that side of the street, unless we switch over, could hit the farmer's market. Um, kind of either side there now. So, so the cemetery down here now. Um, hmm... Well, I think what we can do is figure out where we need bus lines still. Maybe that's a good way to start a transit-focused episode. And maybe instead of the full-on train, which we can still anticipate eventually, we could focus instead on turning this into a tram. It's not a new unlock, it's not as much fun, but it would create an obvious place for a metro line or potentially a monorail line if we wanted to keep it on the street um, eventually. So, yeah. I'm going to start with buses because that's a, buses are a great way to figure out where your demand is. So, for, like, for example, I, wanna, I think I want to bring this down to here now. It doesn't really make sense there. I think go there with it. I'm fine with that. And then I want to add stops. So we can put one right there. Make some folks happy. And then how far do you have to go for the next one? Right there, by the bikes. Okay. Fine with that. The other thing about above ground trains of some kind is it is going to affect our the elevated um, bike network here which is pretty simple and a lot of it could still be salvaged. It would just sever this really crucial connection right here, I think, potentially. So a lot to consider with 
those plans. For now... I want to put another bus line going in fact why don't I just come in and then and create just a little bus turnaround right here let's see if you can yep get right back out there and then we'll have this line start right here we'll go every other or every block Let's see what every other looks like now up here it's going to be a little trickier to figure out where to go with it and how to turn it back around People will walk pretty far to get to transit. Would be nice to have some kind of line running up through here though. Let's see. If we try it every other block, is that a good spot? No, I think it's like right here. And then just need to turn around from there wish I had a better turnaround spot I don't know I think I'm just gonna have to do this and then I think just gotta start bringing it back That one's a little superfluous. Yeah, I feel like three is kind of a lot through here. I'd rather just give these a little more space. See what that does. I think we definitely need a Park Street bus line here. That's what this is. Um, Necessary. What if we bring this right there? What is that going to do? Ugh. Horrible. Right up here. Mm. Nope. That's fine like that, I guess. And 
there's not really another street that makes sense through here yet. Roslyn Street could probably use a line though. Start right outside the bus station. You'll hit the shops here. There, right back here, right there. Gotta be careful about this. Um, I don't know that you'd want to be going into. Uh, there. That's fine for now. Let's see if we can get this out of here somehow. Okay. So now you just go around the sewage treatment plant, not into it. That's fine. This line should probably extend down further now. there. I think this has got to move. Put it right there. Just so we'll put one like right here. at the high school okay just making the logical extensions on a couple of these lines as well Nancy Street. That could be pretty major. Okay, let's see. I think we were about... doesn't look like we've increased too much yet on a lot of these lines. Let's get... okay. So four. This is Valley View. Try to get that nice light blue bus color on it. Let's see, it's a little lighter than what I've been working with. Now it's more blue. Go down, yeah. Ooh, that's pretty spot on. Maybe a little darker? Yeah. There we go. And now we can just copy that, so. Let's see, 05 is... So I named this Eureka Boulevard because it heads up to the slopes. I think eventually this flat little area down here, I want to develop a little more and turn it into something proper called Eureka. So it kind of makes sense to have Eureka Boulevard coming out of there. Um, so that'll be 05. Line six will be 
Park Street. And line seven was Roslyn Street. Seeing some level ups over there. That's what good transit will do. So now I want to evaluate my bus lines. Whoa. Okay, I got 10 vehicles on Summit Boulevard. That's our main, like first main uh, rib bone there, sort of. Um, got a lot of empty stops coming down this way. Oh, but this one is right outside the high school, predictably, is doing a lot. So those are all the new stops that I just added. They're not really seeing any traffic yet. Small residential stop, that's sort of what you'd expect to see. So here we have a terminus of the bike network, a major landmark, some shopping, um, and a major intersection with Factory Street. So that makes sense there would be some traffic there as well as right on the other side of it where there's also an elementary school so that's one of those things where it's like it's sort of justified to have two stops that close together because one stop would be a little overwhelmed here and then nobody's waiting there nobody's waiting there but those stops are really sort of drop-off stops to my mind um, that's where everybody who's up the line here is trying to come in fact Let's see, so we got a full bus coming up to this intersection, so these these will be good drop-off spots too, because it's people are gonna be coming on the bus to go to the shops to take their bike up here to the um, bike trail. So you see some people getting off. Not not very many though. So if we stay on this bus. Oops. Of course getting across factory streets probably a bit of an ordeal for these guys. Might need to become a, a three-laner, which is tough because I would love to do the transit on it somehow still. We're going to have to see what that bus line looks like and what the demand is like. Okay, so still a full load here, although we did pick up quite a few people from that stop. So that means a lot of people got off. And now we're coming up to... Stop is only one person waiting. Let's see how big the drop-off is here. Yeah, this is almost like two-thirds of the bus. So it would have been with the one pickup, 12 left, so 18 passengers got off right there. And that's why there's demand up the line, is people need to get to that location. And that's everybody. Empty bus. End of the line. Perfect. That's how you draw it up. So then it's going to come right back around here. Really should put some kind of major bus infrastructure right in here potentially. Um, this might be a good area eventually for an intercity bus stop as well because they could come right in here on the highway. And with such a stretch of highway that's like in the city really can throw some tolls down there and potentially be making some serious money um, serving the yards and everything else as well for truck traffic. So almost a full bus load here now and this turnaround takes a long time and it takes them out on Brown Street there right at the point where it becomes the highway which is a little bit of like a accident waiting to happen it feels like. Now somebody's going to be left behind. See, so that's that turnaround would make a difference, I think. Because now, not only is this stop, there's going to be people waiting there still for a bus that is a ways away. This next stop here 
where I've got a big pickup demand. I don't imagine a lot of people who got on the bus right there were only going to ride it for two blocks. So we'll see if any of these 21 people even get a spot on the bus. Yeah, a few. Okay. That turnaround's definitely a problem. Not as much pick up there. A lot of pick up there. And then again, these drop off spots on the other side. Um, really nothing down here yet. That's going to change. Okay. So let's take a look at line two, which is Middle Street. Way less demand. Makes sense. This is not clearly not quite as centrally located. Doesn't cut through the heart of downtown right there. Um, it doesn't really go through a lot of different zones either. Residential, the back of the high school campus here. All residential, residential. Uh, stops here by the commercial and bike network. Um, but it's... I don't know why you would bring your bike here to get on the bike trail. You should have just ridden it from the start, uh, which could be impacting the ridership on this as well, obviously. And then just up through more, a little bit of commercial again, but just more commercial and residential. It's not really taking you anywhere. You can't get too closer because like if you're going to get on the bus down here to go to the shops up there, you might as well just come to what's right across from the high school. Um, So, we are seeing some bus loads. This is probably going to be a big drop off right here. Mm hmm. So, there's some utilization. So, let's take Factory Street now, because this is a big one. And it is our most used line by passenger count. We can, um,. Sort by passengers. And really, okay, here we've got some backups for sure. Um, which speaks to a need for higher capacity transit. Because this spot right here, middle and factory, is it's more than two bus loads. And the buses that are coming in here are full, and I don't know if they're making big drop-offs. So we definitely want to try to bump this up. Just smash into the back of that other bus waiting at the light there, that's fine. Yeah, and there's a lot of demand down here as well. Because now this is connected up, this bus line is feeding this bus line. Um, so that probably is boosted factory a little bit but this is just this is getting worse as we're watching it and so is this here hmm. we're gonna come back to that let's check in on valley view so we got a couple of stops here that are backed up as well So, we should definitely up, I think we could go up to 8, let's see what that does. Our budget's still looking okay, so even though we're adding a lot of buses right now, it's not really that big of a deal. Eureka Boulevard, not a ton of utilization right now. I might just take that down to 3. So there's one spot, yeah, so it's actually that factory line is feeding Eureka Boulevard, I guess, um, is what's really happening. I'm going to go ahead and make as much of this two lane as I can easily. This is going to be more complicated because there's some historic uh, farmer's market stuff right there. And right now, this cemetery is going to impact the ability to expand this road. And that's fine for now. Okay. 
So Eureka, not much. Park Street, got one like pretty full bus here, taking people down there. That makes sense. I don't think that needs four. Honestly, could probably get away with two on that for now. And then Roslyn. A lot of buses under a third full, so I'm just going to bump that down to three. So we get some buses back to help with the budget. Um, since we're going to be spending a lot more now on some of these other lines. And Factory is just moving. This stop right here still. That one. Everybody is trying to get from Factory and Middle into downtown proper here. Ooh, we got some issues in the yard. Some crime issues. I mean, I guess, what did you expect? And some of the offices I've put over here, huh? No, this is just leveled up industry. Shoot. We're not keeping up with education. Hmm. What is... Oof, yeah. <laughs> no wonder. We definitely need a second high school. We're at that phase. Gosh, there's so much to do. Okay, well I wanted this to be a transit-focused episode. So, how far in am I? 40 minutes? Okay. Let's start thinking about this tram station and where it's going to go. This is actually a really pretty asset. Um, it, uh, I'm a big fan of it. Hmm. But it is a little noisy, as you can see here got quite a noise range on it um, so it's best somewhere that's okay with noise but isn't heavy pollution which makes it a little tricky like this would be a good spot for it right here potentially eventually these houses would have to go but this cemetery is very in the way and it's pretty full Where else could it go? And that's not wide enough, so that's out. I wonder if I could try to sneak it in down here somewhere. Not without taking some streets out, it looks like right now. This is quite a hill here. I guess I could go over here. Why don't we... Well, I guess it'll have to be tram is the thing of it. So, trolley bus, tram tracks. There is some pollution coming from across the street there. But let's go ahead and throw this down. That might hit those trees. Hmm. The other option would be up here in the space that ultimately I would love to put a train station in. It may require moving this. Yeah, I think that's fine. It would be a shame to make the trams and the trucks share a road there. Not 
too bad. room for a whole tram right here. This could be converted right there. Okay. I like that. I think there's a lot of potential because it still leaves some room right there. get this to stop crying. I guess these aren't even really necessary at this point. And then let's try to level some of this out a little more. Yeah, I mean, not too bad. This is the nice thing about the trams, is you do sort of have to play with how you're gonna build the station. And I've put the station really like properly into the downtown of an area before, and I really like that, honestly. Um, I think it adds a lot. Just gonna bring that, and then I wanna turn these back on. That. And then that'll just go to there. And I think it would even make sense to bring sort of a service road. Um, well, I'll try this again. There we go. Oh, it's on Bonnabelle. That's lovely. Okay, so then we'll get the trams across Brown Street here. And they may need to go down Brown to get the factory, because the other option would be to take Annabelle down. They'll need a spot to turn around. I think it makes the most sense to have them turn around coming from Brown up to Bonnabelle and then down Annabelle. They'll have to make a left onto Factory. But they'll have their own lane on Factory. Another option would be to tear out some of the retail here and put in a really proper tram stop, which would make sense um, right here by the the depot. The question is which part of it is going to go. Halfway attempted to put a tram road right in here. Let me see. Oh, it needs to come off of this, which means that plaza would have to go. That feels okay though to me. I just need to bring some trees back in it eventually, obviously. would briefly be on Brown Street for a second here. But I wanted to go all the way down factory. Right under the 
spikes there. It will pretend that um, whatever uh, the bus lines are broken because we redid the road, but that's not entirely accurate. Okay, this would be another cute spot for a little tram stop of some kind, I think. Question is, where can we bring it? actually disrupt a bus line if <laughs> those were one ways. Uh, whatever, I think for now I'm just going to do this and doing proper tram stops through here is going to be a process for later. This can go now and then we just need to connect this up to that. So, do that with this. There we go. And now we should be able to start a tram line. And the objective here is kind of to replace the bus. <laughs> Um, that's really like the goal. Just mirroring the stops. turn around right there okay and look our bus numbers are way up 690 now they were a sub 500 before summit has continued to build now its biggest factory it's also grown but not as rapidly as summit has which makes me think that's another potential great spot for a tram Ooh. and clearing out that new uh, graveyard is having some repercussions so, I have not unlocked those yet. Um, I mean, this is a lovely spot for a cemetery, isn't it? Go ahead and just throw a couple down right here for now. Oh no. <laughs> so, here's the other drawback of extreme detailing. Uh, is extreme fire. Somebody else is at my door. Excuse me. Okay, sorry about that, folks. Uh, it's my birthday in a couple of days, so I've just been getting a lot of deliveries. Anyway, where was I? Okay, so we were building our tram here on Factory Street. Let's take a look. So it did take out a lot of trees in here. That's okay. There are a lot already. And as we've seen, too many trees is not always a good thing. It's not jumping this big road, which is nice that that's acting as a fire break. Because I'll be honest with you, this whole side over here burned down <laughs> like while I was detailing. Uh, you can see it did grow back eventually. And the fire trucks are, they're all over it. And the choppers are here. They're trying to get it done. There's a lot of death though. Woof. Um, I mean, yeah, right there, that works. Let's 
Seeing a lot of abandoned buildings downtown. It's sort of normal. They won't go away because they're historical. This is continuing to spread. I tried to really rebalance the fire safety once I started this detailing. Um, and obviously I've had mixed success. Uh, I mean the hazard has gone down. There are a lot of stations. I put in two of these. They are as far away as possible from this. Unlocking some squares would change a lot. Um, hmm. Let's see how many helicopters do each of these have? Only three? What's our budget like? Uh, for fire, it's already in 95. And it's a huge chunk of the city budget. Of our 35k expenses, 7 is just fire. Um, probably bump the school budget just a little. That'll help with the capacity issues we saw earlier. Very cool. I also put on uh, the smoke detector distribution policy citywide, and that definitely seemed to make a difference for a while uh, because there was also a major fire on Factory Street right here by the yards um, that burned down a lot of these trees here. Um, you can see that's all recovered now, though. I, think I will go ahead and just. Get rid of some of these. Oh, uh, that sounds kind of beautiful. I don't know if anything will pop in. Industrial demand is pretty low right now. Might even just dezone some of that. For now, see if it comes back later. Okay. that one. Five guys moved out. That's fine. The organic foods is gone. Okay, let's not think about the fire and check in on this. So it's not seeing really much utilization and that's because there's still a bus line here. So, much to the chagrin of everybody, before they get too used to it, we are going to delete the bus line. And they don't like it. And it can be very tricky deleting transit lines. Um, obviously having a substitute in place is going to make a difference. Uh, but the factory street line is no more. So, in order to make this really sort of pop off the purple, I'm going to do a yellow color for this. And I'm still going to call this line 3. It'll still be Factory Street. It's just a tram now. So we should see the utilization on that start to jump up now that there's no bus alternative. And once these get spread out a little bit, um, let's just see what the traffic situation is like right here. Yes, that should be a light. I feel like that could be a stop. This could be just a stop right there. That could be a stop right there. That should probably be a light. That should probably be a light. This. Tempted to just say stops, stops, stop right there, right there. Yeah, hopefully that'll help speed things along. So paying attention to your signalization will make a difference because if all of these are stoplights and the tram gets unlucky and hits every single red, um, that's going to add a lot of time in between stops that you're going to see build up. 
Okay, and that's cleared out now. So those trams are moving. Let's see what we've got. This one's got, it's dropping people off down here, all right, and it's gonna make a pretty decent sized pickup. So it's already coming in handy. And there goes the fire chopper. God, it's still burning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls, I guess. Um, so it picked up, it's got 47 people on it right now here at the end of the line, which is more than a bus can hold. And that's the whole reason you make this kind of upgrade. Trams are in a very sweet spot between buses and any of the sort of third tier transit options like Metro or monorail, um, the sort of light rail options because they can take over a bus line and they can do it much more simply than uh, those other major rail upgrades can. The monorail and the Metro are amazing, but they are much more significant investments of time in terms of what we would have had to do to downtown to set a station up down there. And, um, you know, I want to get to that. I do want to get to that. I think the city needs to be bigger to justify it. Uh, the city needs to really... Um, expand to an extent where it actually makes sense to have a train system and i think we're going to get there because i have two areas to unlock right now now where i go with that is going to be an interesting question because obviously i want this square right here i want another highway connection up here because otherwise we're going to have one for the entire city um but I also, you know, that island looks really fun to play with, and I need that little corner right there to continue all of this right here past the farm. So it's going to be a process. I need one more unlock to really do all three of those things at once and open up really like at least double, if not more, the buildable area here. And I think the fire is finally out. Oh, that's great news. So that'll regrow eventually. Um, let's see what else we're having in terms of. So we're seeing commercial turnover, and that makes sense uh, due to the education issues. Um, just go ahead and dezone these spots, honestly. We have some demand right now. Maybe I'll let that one come back in because I like that building. But as usual, residential demand, people still want to live here even though uh, your house might burn down and you might die. Um, well, I guess nobody's house burned down, but there was definitely some unfortunate deaths. It doesn't register as a natural disaster, which is strange um all right how long have i been going like an hour hmm. you can probably tell i have a lot of big ideas about where i want to take rosalyn and there's a lot of building that has to happen to get there. I am still experimenting with how to format these episodes. Um, so I appreciate your patience and your feedback as you have it on um, how you'd like to see me handle it. Today I really want to try to focus on one task, which was to build this line right here which I think turned out pretty great. I mean, look at this now. We've got full trams. It's kind of looking like already we need to expand service. I'll bump it up to one more there. Ooh, our budget is taking a hit. Which means, let's see if I have any room on the tax scale. Not really. Um, I think there are a couple of offices. Maybe that would be enough. I'm honestly just going to throw everything up to 12 for simplicity's sake. <clears throat> and then I can play with tax breaks if I want to, um, to try and increase value, but... 
Okay. There we go. That got back into the green pretty quick. It's going to fluctuate. Um, if it stays low, like in the hundreds in the green, you may need to experiment with uh, the industry areas and trying to increase the yield from those because putting in this new infrastructure is expensive. Um, all these tram lines, I mean, it's not a matter of surplus right now, but it is a matter of budget. Um, got over a million on hand, uh, which gives cushion for the budget to go into the red occasionally, which is nice. Um, it's good to have some surplus. Let's just enjoy the view here, though. We'll be bringing the episode to a close. I'm really glad to have another transit option here. I think community has not expanded enough yet for anything more significant than this. There would be other places still, <clears throat> like Summit, where we could look at expanding tram access in the future. I am going to take a little break um, if you're here live on Twitch with me. Uh, if not, if you're watching on YouTube, um, episode 16 will be coming soon. So thanks for tuning in.